podcast. It's me again, D. Now, today I'm going to talk about fear and anxiety leading to stress, okay? We're going to talk about some different things that we can do to kind of keep the stress down and keep them going crazy during quarantine. Okay, so I started writing lists of different things that my friends have said, and I'll go over those with you later. But first, I want to go over you some, with you some things that I wrote down, things that you can do to help support yourself during these stressful times of this quarantine with the COVID-19. Okay, we can take a break from listening to, reading, and watching all of this news and stories from the media. Because you know the media hypes things up, and so they get us all worked up, okay? So let's take a break now and again from hearing about the pandemic, okay? Also, we need to take care of our body. Not only going outside trying to get a little sun, even if you just walk for a few minutes, okay? Or just walk outside and stand on your porch, or walk out and stand in your driveway, or whatever you need to do, but get out once in a while and get a little sunshine, okay? But you need to take some deep breaths now and again. Just sit there and and count to 10 and do that. You know what I'm saying? You can also stretch. You can meditate. You get a little exercise. You eat. Eat healthy meals and well-balanced meals. And try to get a little regular exercise because we're stuck in the house now with nothing to do. We need to get some exercise because we're not moving around like we normally are. Make sure you get plenty of sleep, okay? You guys need to get as much sleep as you can. Or, well, let not, let's not say it that way, but get the required amount of sleep that you need. That's a better way of putting it. Take time each day to unwind. Try to do activities that you enjoy doing, things that you like to do, okay? Connect with other people. Talk to other people. Uh, video chat your friends, your family. Um, video chat. Your doctor, if you need to, I, I believe most states have now where they can video chat with their um, primary care doctors and things. So make sure you keep in touch with your health care provider, okay? Um, also, make sure if you if you get the feeling overwhelmed, uh, feeling sad or depressed or having anxiety, make sure you call someone. Call 911 if you have to. If your doctor is not answering, call 911. Or call a different doctor, okay? But make sure you do call. Now, they do have a disaster distress helpline. And I'm going to try to remember to post this information in the bottom of the description for the video this time. It is 1-800-985-5990. It also says you can text talk with us to... 66746. We need to take a break from watching all this COVID-19 stuff. This stuff is really, really, you know, it's it's some good stuff to learn about, but sometimes we get overwhelmed with it, okay? So basically, I talked to some of my friends, okay? And all I did was ask them, what do you do to keep your sanity to to keep yourself occupied, to keep your mind, you know, from straying to bad things, okay? So, I have one friend, Annie Williams, and I want to give a shout out to her. Thank you for the information. She's from Sanford, and Sanford, North Carolina, <laughs> so you know. She said she likes to call her loved ones and talk to them on the phone. She likes to be with her loved ones and she likes to cook. She likes to do especially special meals for her loved ones. Excuse me. She also likes to watch the news, which is fine. She doesn't just watch the news for the COVID-19, but she watches it for everything. She, she loves the news. She likes to um, go on Pinterest and get some good ideas on different crafts and cooking and this and that that she can do. She's a really crafty person. Uh, I think her little business that she runs is called Nana's Creations, maybe. I believe it's Nana's Creations. She sews. She does crochet. She has so many things. She she does 
papers and things and she laminates them and sends them for the for my grandchildren she's just wonderful she makes barrettes beautiful hair barrettes and things for the kids she's just awesome um so anyway back to where we were <laughs> she likes to watch youtube she stays at home um and you know she spends time with her loved ones like her grandkids that live with her that she raised and then sometimes she spends time with her significant other also she volunteers and um she makes face masks for the emergency responders. Um, so, you know, they're always in need. So if, if you need to find something to do and you think you can make them, maybe you can make some face masks for people in your neighborhood or some elderly folks that you know or some younger folks that you know need them because they got to go to work or, or whatever. Hey, they got face masks that you can make um, by crocheting, by knitting, by sewing and there are some that you don't even have to sew you just cut out strips of t-shirt and put it together it's pretty cool so um face masks are always needed and then she also fixes extra meals like when she fixes meals for her significant other who is an emergency responder she's a nurse okay um and her significant other is also a nurse she sends extra meals with her for her friends, okay? So not only does she fix special meals for her family, but she fixes special meals for other nurses and doctors at the hospital too, okay? Then I have another friend. Uh, let's see. Carol McDonald. She, she likes to do crafts. She, she works, she's also uh, a, a nurse's aide, so she does still work. She's one of the people that still have to work because they're a necessity. Um, she also sews masks. Um, she likes to make special Jamaican meals uh, for her family, okay? And she likes to do Facebook and Instagram, and she also likes to post for her charity that she does, all right? And let's see who else we got here. I had to write all this stuff down because I don't remember all the time. So I wrote it all down. Then we have another one of my friends from Durham, North Carolina. Shout out to Durham, North Carolina. This person is a Lyft driver and an Uber driver. So usually when they do Lyft, they do Uber too. So, but also this person is an Amazon driver. Okay. So not only uh, do they drive Uber and Lyft and they, they put protective gear on their vehicle on the inside, I guess the little plastic shield that's behind them between them and the person in the back so that, you know, they don't catch anything, I guess, so nobody can cough on them or whatever. But anyway, they're being as safe as possible. They're also an Amazon, Amazon driver, so they make Amazon deliveries. Uh, so they're still working, doing that type of work. Um, they also DJ. Um, this person is a DJ, and he enjoys his music. So he's basically, when he's at home in his free time, he does a little DJ. He might post it online, or he might just send it to his friends, just so they can have a little taste of the good music that we like listening to. Uh, he also films church live online for Facebook. Uh, his church still has their service, service, I guess, but there's usually no one there except who's ever doing the filming and maybe a couple of people. And he, he does that. He goes to the church on Sunday and they film service so that everybody can see it since they can't gather in one place. Okay, then I have another friend, Tony. He likes to work on his motorcycle and fix up things that need fixing. He likes the barbecue. Uh, he loves to video chat with his kids who are, uh, I think some are up north and he's, he's in South Carolina. Uh, maybe some of his kids are in Georgia and then in, in New Jersey, I believe it is. Uh, but he likes to barbecue. He likes TV and DVD. He binge watches. He likes to fix on his car also. He works part-time three days a week, and he loves to go to the basketball court and play a little solo basketball since they can't be 
around other people and stuff. He likes to go out there during times where there's no one else is there, and he'll just go out there and play and shoot a few hoops for himself. Okay. And then I have my friend Stephen. Him and his significant other, they like to go for nice walks because they like being out in the sun where it's healthy and they can get a lot of sun, you know, to nourish their body. So they go for walks. They love laughter. They, they just Stephen loves to laugh. Laughter is good for the soul, and he loves to have those good hearty laughs, good long hearty laughs. He loves them. I love to have them with him too. <laughs> and he likes positive talk. He loves to positive talk with friends and loved ones because it makes him feel good. He likes to check in on his loved ones. He calls them. He video chats. Does what he has to do to make sure he keeps in touch with friends and family. He likes to cook fun food, he calls it. Fun food is good food to him. He likes happy, nourishing meals like fruits and vegetables and salads. Um, he likes to get deli meat, and he likes to cut up that deli meat and put it in the salad. So he loves that too. He likes to eat right. Now that they're so quarantined, he has went to eating a lot healthier meals now, which is good for him and his significant other. Uh, and he also likes to binge watch his TV shows. He's got some nice TV shows that he watches and he, he's been binge watching on those. So he, he, he's got it together. He's, he's got a lot of different activities that he's doing that he's really enjoying. And then I have Heather. She's like a daughter to me and she likes to paint. She does these flower crafts. She does online school for nursing. Uh, she likes to crochet and do cross stitch, jigsaw puzzles. She loves to cook. She likes to rearrange and reorganize things. And she also colors and draws. Okay. And she's a very fun person too. And then I have my two boys. They like to do TV games and they both work. So you know how those boys are with those uh, uh, what do you call them? PS fours or, or whatever the games are. They love them. Okay. Also, we have Naona. She's also a very close friend of the family, like a daughter. Also, she takes care of her baby, her babies. Sorry, and she home educates her kids. She likes to rest. Um, cause she just had a newborn baby. The baby is what? About three months old. Also, um, and by the way, that is my grandson, the, the last one, three months old. And she likes to cook and clean and do kid activities. And she also likes to take the kids places that they can go and, and do things. Well, recently, one thing that they did do is they went to the drive through zoo. So they were in the car. They couldn't get out the car, but the car drove all the way through there. And it was about an hour drive or so, maybe a little more than that. But they they went to the zoo and they got to feed the animals by holding the bucket out there, out the window to the, to the animals and things. And she took a lot of nice pictures and stuff. Maybe if I can find some, I'll go ahead and post a few so that you guys can see that. Um, also... I have another friend from Florida who works from home and basically he likes to play games, listen to music and basically work from home. Uh, let's see another aid, a uh, health aid, a friend of mine named Melissa. She likes wine and movie binging. So that's what she does. She works in the healthcare field. Like I said, but she likes to go home and sit with a nice glass of wine and just binge on movies for, I guess, however long she can stay up. <laughs> now, I just want to tell you guys, before I continue, make sure you all stay well, be well, and wash your hands frequently. If you got to go out, make sure you put your masks on, okay? And put gloves on, too, if you need to. If you're going to be going places where you're going to touch stuff, get you some gloves and put on. All right, all my grown 
sexy friends, I made a list of things that we can do during quarantine. Now, this is just a list of a few things, and by a few, I mean 50, 60, I don't know. I just started making a list. It's a lot, but again, it's just different things. Everybody likes to do something different. My friends like to do different things than what I have on this list. Some of the things they do is on the list, are on the list, okay? So let me go ahead and go through this list. I'm going to go through them about 10 things at a time, okay? And I will keep going unless I feel the need to maybe explain a little better, okay? What we need to start doing is making sure that uh, we Skype, FaceTime, Google Hangouts, Marco Polo, our friends and family, near and far. We have friends and family, you know, that are states away, and some of them are even countries away. If you're able to video chat with them, be sure you do so, because they want to hear from us too, and we need to know that they're doing okay, just like they want to hear that we're doing okay. Also, you can start a journal or a blog. There's nothing wrong with that. Some people just like to write. Some people want to blog. Either way, start a journal or a blog. How about practice an old instrument or learn to play a new instrument, like I'm taking piano lessons. I do them remotely. Uh, we get on the FaceTime, and she she's looking at what I'm doing on the piano, and she has a copy of the music that I'm doing, and it's quite fun. Open a Google account and learn about the Google apps, like Google Photos or Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Voice, Google Keep for your notes. If you have a Google account, usually when you switch phones, all your information goes with you. So I have Google Notes because I like to keep notes on things. I like to keep my bills in the notes so I know what I pay each month, how much money is going out of my pocket each month. So I keep that in Google Notes. And every time I switch phones, if I have to buy a new phone, all that information gets switched over. I have Google Voice because it's a phone number and it's active and I can connect it to my phone. So if I ever have to change my phone number, my Google Voice is still active, okay? All you have to do is go on Google and put Google Voice, and it'll explain everything to you to tell you you can get a, another phone number. All you got to do is put your area code or what whatever you need. If you want special numbers in it, put them down there. See if they have a Google Voice number with that in there. Google Drive holds all your documents and information. It can hold your photos, videos, and I believe you can have up to one gigabyte or 10 gigabytes. I don't know. It, it gives you a certain amount that you can have without paying for it. And if you need more, you just pay for it. It also has Google Docs. So if you don't have Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or Excel, Google Docs has that. So you go on and you can do Google Docs. You can do um, presentation. You can do Excel. All that's in the Google uh, docs area. Okay. And then Google photos, of course, and I believe photos is unlimited, but you'll have to check on that and see. Uh, again, we have, uh, write some poetry. Some people love poetry, start writing poetry, learn to write poetry, learn about the different types of poetry. Maybe watch long movies, meditate. Some people don't know how to meditate. Hey, Go online and learn how to meditate. Maybe you can take a little meditation for yourself every day. Do your skincare routines like your face masks and moisturizers, etc. I matter of fact, I posted a video on face masks. It was a rejuvenating face mask. You guys need to look it up and see it. Also, learn to do ventriloquy. I think that would be fun. I have seen people try to do this. And then they talk to them like this, and then they can't, but you still see this, and they mumble and <laughs> learn to do ventriloquy. I think that would be pretty fun. Candle making. Some people love to make candles. I don't see why. Couldn't give it a try. Learn to make candles a different way or a better way, or make them pretty, or make them multicolored, or whatever. Learn to do candles. Okay. Okay, so we're going to keep moving on. Let me go to the next 10. I have paper mache. 
learn to do paper mache. I think that would be pretty cool. I might do that with my grandkids. Painting. You don't know how to paint? Learn to paint. It don't have to be painting people. You might just want to learn to paint a flower or a bowl or an apple. <laughs> okay. Learn calligraphy. I love to write. So learning to do calligraphy would be something awesome. I may go ahead and give that a try. How about some board games? Uh, you can do board games. How about you write some actual letters to your friends and your family? I bet they'd be really surprised. In the age that we are in today, everybody's doing things electronically. Pick up a pencil and paper. Buy some cards and write a, a nice note in the card and send it to them. Just let them know you're thinking about them. Also, you can organize your kitchen. You know, maybe your kitchen is already organized and maybe you don't know where half of your lids to your bowls are. I went and bought a $1 basket from the Dollar Tree and I put all of my lids in there, okay? And then beside them, I stacked all of my bowls. So now I have all my lids in one place. If I, if I have a lid that's out of place or I don't know where it goes or what it goes to, I just throw it in the basket anyway. And eventually I pop up with, so I'll be like, oh, well, here's the, the bowl, but where's the lid? Or here's the cup. Where's the, the seal to the cup? Boom. I look through my lid basket and normally I find it. So, you know, organize your things. Organize your containers and your lids. Or, or how about your spice rack? Organize your spice rack. That's probably down the list somewhere. But I'm going to tell you now anyway. So... Organize your kitchen. Uh, you may want to organize your, your silverware drawer or your kitchen gadget drawer or whatever. Organize. Okay. Go through your clothes. Okay. I'm quite sure a lot of you guys might be just like me and you have so many clothes. Half of them you don't even wear. Okay. If you haven't worn them in the last year, you're probably not going to wear them. I don't know and I can't say, but it's, it's still good to go through your clothes. If you have some clothes you don't need or some, go ahead and wash them and send them to the Salvation Army. Do what you got to do with them. Bag them up and, and put them up somewhere. If you think you're going to eventually wear them or you're trying to lose weight to get in them or, you know, whatever the case may be, hey, it's good to go through your clothes. This is the time to do these things. How about baking something or cooking something? Learn something new. Learn some new recipes. I think that's a pretty good idea in itself. Okay. How about that stack of magazines over in the corner <laughs> that you haven't read and you've been getting them for the last couple of years? Go ahead and read some of the magazines that's been laying around. I think that's a good idea in itself also. Okay. So now I have another list. Let's see. I got about 10 more on this list. This list is knit. Or crochet if you don't know how to knit or crochet go online and learn it there are programs online where you can learn for free YouTube is one of them there is a, a couple of websites that you can go and you can buy um, programs where you can learn to knit and you can watch the program all you want you know it's a it's a lifetime of, of a video that you can watch and they have different patterns in it Things like that. So you never get bored with it. But at least you learn to do it. And it's knitting and crocheting. It could be PowerPoint or or Microsoft uh, Suite. You know, different things like that. The All these different little programs have different things in there that you can do. How about doing some jigsaw puzzles? That should be fun. You know, I used to didn't like them. And then all of a sudden I started buying jigsaw puzzles and I have a lot of them laying around. I'm going to start doing the jigsaw puzzles. Aerobics, yoga, fitness. Let me tell you, Amazon Prime members, get on Amazon Prime and go to your videos and look up the free videos that you can watch. They have aerobics, yoga, fitness, chair fitness. They have all kinds of fitness. Go ahead and, and get on there and look up some of these free fitness things that you can do. Okay. Make a song list and play the list to lift your spirits. Okay. So maybe you can make a little, um, 
Maybe you can make a list of different songs. You can make a little CD or buy a CD of different songs that you like. Go on your Apple Music or your Amazon or wherever you go to download electronic music. Go on Google Play. Uh, there's um, websites out there that you can actually go on and probably download free music, okay? Take a bubble bath and relax. How about look in the mirror and draw your own self-portrait? I bet that would be really fun. I didn't even think about doing that. I read that somewhere and I said, huh, I need to put that on my list. And I did. Okay. How about make a classic cocktail? Maybe you want to learn how to make cocktails. Have a friend over that you know as well. You can still social distance across the table and have a drink together. How about color and some coloring books? You know, a lot of us think we're too old for it, but they have adult coloring books now too. So get your coloring book and color. Learn how to do origami. I have an origami book and I like to do origami. They're very hard at times, but once you learn it, it gets easier. Take time to reflect on what you've learned over the past year or over the past few years. Just take time and reflect over that. I think that's a pretty good idea too. Um, let's see here. I have 31 through 40. Okay. Write a short story or work on a novel. It's up to you. Some people like to write. Some people may already be readers and writers or, or writers or people who just want to start that book and haven't started it. Go ahead and get it started. I have Pinterest on here. How about camping indoors with a blanket, some popcorn and a movie? Some of these things we can do with our kids. There's nothing wrong with that. There's lists of things all over the place. Go ahead and get it started. How about finally getting around to fix some things that you've been needing to fix? Learn to braid hair. Maybe you never learned. Try to learn. Throw away all those things that are old and have been sitting around and they need to be gone through like your makeup, your sunscreen, old lotions or, or whatever it may be. They might be dried and caked on, you know, go ahead and go through that stuff. Interview a family member and create an audio story or a family history book. I think that's an excellent idea. Work on your family history, learn who you are, who your people are. I think that's awesome, okay? So interview some of those family members over the phone and create create some audio, make an audio story about them. How about getting on a health kick? And this time, staying on it. Like me, I get on it and don't stay on it. This time, we're going to get on a health kick and we're going to stay on it. How about learning some new recipes and make them healthy ones? Work on financial planning. Some people have a problem with financial planning. So how about you get, get some information on financial planning and learn more about it and start doing that. Perfect family recipes. You know, I have some recipes that I pin up to my refrigerator and I really think that's a good idea to go ahead and start perfecting those recipes because I like them and I like to make them so that everybody excuse me, enjoys them. How about doing an indoor scavenger hunt? I bet that's fun. And especially on a rainy day, I like doing things like that. Get you some digital comic books. Do some digital comics. Hey, make your own. <laughs> also, you can organize your spice rack. I told you that one would come up. Organize your spice rack. Go through all the old spices that you haven't been using and go and rearrange that spice rack. How about binge watch a show with a free trial on a streaming app? Sometimes you get those free trials with Netflix and Hulu. Go ahead and get that, you know, that free trial and go ahead on and binge watch what you want to binge watch. Okay, stars, <laughs> all of them, they all have little free time that you can have. And especially now during the quarantine. Learn a new style of dance. I think that's a good idea too. Write or update your will. A lot of people don't like to think of that. And I know it's not a good time to talk about it, but you know something? Now's a good time to go ahead and update that stuff. Get, get it done, you know? How about doing Legos? 
or Lincoln Logs for those of you from my era. How about attempting things with your non-dominant hand? Okay, I'm right-handed. So I can't do very much with my left hand, but try writing with it, doing your hair, brushing your teeth. Just see what kind of things you can do with your non-dominant hand. Hydroponics or planting things. I like to do hydroponics because it's in the house and I use water instead of dirt. I don't like the bugs and things like that I get out of the dirt. So I just do the hydroponics, which is with the water. I love it. Maybe I'll do a video on that one day. Okay. Now, I did put a list up here of some different some different um, websites. Like you can make a photo book, take all your electronic photos or whatever, take pictures of your, your physical photos and make them electronic. Go on shutterfly.com and make you a photo book, okay? Learn something new, uh, a new craft or a new way to cook or something new to cook or how to make uh, pasta, okay? You can go on Blueprint. It's B-L-U-P-R-I-N-T, okay? Learn a new language. They have a couple of things online that you can go to and learn for free. One of them is Duolingo. That's a nice one. I, I really like Duolingo. Also, you can read a good book. You know, some people think that you got to buy books. You don't have to buy books, okay? We have a free book. Booksy place online that we go. I go to free booksy, F R E E B O O K S Y dot com, and you can get free books daily and you can choose your genre. I love it. I have hundreds of books and I've been reading them. Okay, also, you can watch free opera online. I don't know how many of you ever watch opera. I've always wanted to go see an opera myself. I've been to stage plays and things, but I've never actually been to an opera, a, a real life opera. Maybe little parts of the, the stage play has been opera, but never been to an opera. So go online and watch some opera. I, I'm going to post a, a little, little website here. Operavision.eu is what that one is. Also, you can learn to put a shark, how do you say it? Um, charcuterie board learn to put one of those together i think that'd be something fun to do and make it with things that you have around the house and then you and your family enjoy it i think that would be something really fun it's spelled c-h-a-r-c-u-t-e-r-i-e charcuterie board okay learn to do one of those so what I did is I put some things in here where you can actually do video chats, Skypey, FaceTime, Google Hangouts, Marco Polo, and WhatsApp. Those are just a few that I know of. And I put the websites in here also. So I'm going to make sure and have all of this stuff down in the comments, hopefully, or in the description so that you guys can access it. Um, Make sure that you go through the list and make sure you watch the video in its entirety so you can get all of the information. I really appreciate you guys watching my channel. And thank you so much. Don't forget to like and also subscribe so you can always get the new talks. Thank you for attending Tuesday Talk again. Have a great day and be well.